Free armchair. Free. There's another guy offering an armchair and a coffee table for free on here. Do you have anything you could sweeten the pot with to make it worth my while? Thanks, Jim. Hey, I can knock half off the asking price. What is up, my slick, skating, slip, sliding, rollerblading H2 hose? Welcome back to another r slash choosing beggars. I'm your guide, Q, and I wanted to announce that I'm actually doing voiceover work now for commissions. So if you want to hit me up, I require that you only make me work 12 hours a day. You have at least five Twitter followers to shout me out. I need at least one retweet, and we can be, like, sort of negotiable on that stuff because I know it's asking a lot. Us artists exclusively work for exposure. We just need your shout-outs. So... Let me know if you want to do that, and let's just hop into this cringe. Any photographers down to shoot since one had to cancel due to their day job? So over busy photographers. Like, if you were real, you would have that as your only job. Are you paying these photographers? Are they paying me? Ugh, I'm so over these busy photographers that seem to do all this good work for people, and so they're in high demand in their, in their field, you know? It's crazy that they won't do free work for me. What the fuck? Also, just a public service announcement to all artists out there. If you're trying to work a day job while you're doing your dream on the side, while you're doing your creative pursuit on the side, your dream is dead. It's over. If you're not full time at your creative pursuit, then you might as well just give up right now. Stop doing it. Nobody's ever going to want to work with you. Yo, I sent you an email a couple days ago. Best regards, Steve. Hi, I sent you an email a while ago so we can finish up the commission. We still have to finish up the payment. One last time messaging you about the project. If I don't get a reply to this, then this whole thing is over, and I will not accept any more work from you and warn other artists about you. Just because you draw something doesn't mean someone has to pay for it. How dare you threaten me with defamation? Do you want to go down this road? Your image was not to my standards. I'm not using it, so it doesn't matter what you did. I live in America. In my country, we don't pay for shit that we don't want. I'll warn my friends about dickheads like you who try to get one over on people through the internet. So, go fuck yourself. Yeah, I live in America where we don't pay for things that we agreed to pay for. But, you know, this artist did make a mistake of finishing the commission and sending it to this guy without finishing up the whole payment thing. But uh, it's an unfortunate situation. This person's clearly a cheap asshole that doesn't know how business works. But artists, be careful. Petty rant. Starving artists who think it's okay to charge $130 plus shipping and handling for a 12 by 12 inch black and white canvas painting of three children and two animals? I understand that time is money and supplies cost time and money, but that canvas is only $9 at Michael's, which I offered to buy. I get it. You're struggling, and you got bills. Me too, bitch. Me too. Show me one adult who doesn't. Nobody buys your art? Wonder why. Honestly, if I thought you were worth the price, I would find to pay you every cent of that $130. I'm not an artist, so I don't know what all goes into a painting. Maybe $130, that's a normal rate, and I'm just a cheap bitch. Yeah, them, them might be, that might be how it is, actually. This person in the comments describes it perfectly. You suck. Go to Goodwill if you want cheap art, you fucking miser gross i know it's like how are you putting a value you're like oh the, the canvas only costs nine bucks and then your work is worth like five so it should be 14 dollars for this painting not 130 you think you drawing three children and two animals in black and white is worth 130 dollars you're insane do you ever take girls on dates? Yeah, I've been on dates. Not the typical dress up, eat movies type of dates, but other types of date that involves fun. Like laser tag, roller skating, the zoo, aquarium, a picnic after a hike. I don't know, some memorable shit, not just movies or dinner. Hmm, that's not the kind of woman I am. For the first date, I kind of want to communicate, so I would say we both dress up in something casual and eat dinner at an expensive restaurant like Maestro's or something. That's some bougie shit, Ellen. LOL, maestros for the first date? LOL, why only expensive restaurants? Like, why not the Cheesecake Factory or something? This might be too much insight into my current financial status, but when he said Cheesecake Factory, I was like, that's kind of an expensive restaurant. Like, if a girl asked me to take her out to Cheesecake, I'd be like, oof, uh, okay, I guess. I don't know, maybe that's just me, though. Uh, Cheesecake Factory is kind of like middle-of-the-road expensive, in my opinion. I only eat at expensive restaurants, LOL. Nothing more, nothing less. That's just my standard, and the man must always treat. Hmm. So if a dude took you to Texas Roadhouse or, like, Outback or something, you wouldn't be grateful for that? Um, no. Personally, I would eat the food, entertain him for the night until he takes me home, then block his number. Can't be fucking with no broke man. You gotta be joking. No, I'm actually very serious. 
All right, to be completely honest, not wanting to be with a broke guy is a completely legitimate preference to have. It's a legitimate standard to have in the people you date. But expecting them to take you out to a top-of-the-line expensive restaurant on the first date, it's just like they're investing so much money into a person that they have no clue if they're going to work out with or not. Like, they don't know you at all. It's the first date. Why would they spend $300 on a freaking meal for the two of you? That's just kind of madness, in my opinion. And also, if you can't have fun at Outback Steakhouse, or Texas Roadhouse or playing laser tag, like, the relationship's probably not going to go that well. If you can't have fun just enjoying each other's company, like, eh, you're probably not going to do that great. Please do not invite me to no barbecue if all of your soda's going to be off-brand. I don't drink Dr. Thunder. This one is actually a legitimate complaint, not about the off-brand soda. Off-brand soda can be good, just not Dr. Thunder. Dr. Thunder is garbage. Get yourself a Dr. Bob, a Dr. Lightning, whatever you gotta get. Don't drink Dr. Thunder. It's absolute trash. All right, so the original asking price here was $50, and then horrible negotiations ensue. Hi, would you take $40 for them? Cheers. Sorry about that. I only just saw your message. Do you still want them? Yeah, mate. I'd take them for $40. All right, well, what time would it suit you to come pick them up this week? Could I swing past Monday? Got work full till then. If you'd reserve them, I will 100% buy them Monday. I go to the snow Tuesday. Yeah, would you be able to come sometime after 6 p.m. Monday? Would you deliver them to me if I pay $30 for them? You're going to pay less if I deliver. Yeah, I'd do 30 if you deliver them, dude. You were offering 40 when you were going to pick up. Would you take 30 if you would deliver them? No. What do you mean, bro? You were offering me $40 and you were going to come pick it up. Now you're offering me $30 and asking me to deliver them to you. Thanks for your offers, but I'm going to sell them to someone else. All right, bro. You got me. I'll pay how much you want. If you bring them here, I'll give you $50. Mate, I'm not going to sell them to you. How much would you drop them off for? Nothing. Thanks for wasting my time. $200 basement. I'm looking for either a student or a mom that needs a place to live. She can be free in the morning up to 2 p.m. to take care of my son. If she goes to work, you can work p.m. shift or night shift. I will provide basement for her to stay fully equipped, only kitchen missing. You will only pay me $200 for rent every month. Okay, so I just did some math here. This woman wants you to pay $200 a month for her apartment in the basement or whatever, but also to raise her child, which if you were getting minimum wage to work like an eight-hour shift raising somebody's child every day, you would like get $8 an hour and you would make $320 a week, like $1,200 a month. So unless rent equals out to exactly $1,400, like that's the value of this basement apartment a month, you're losing money on this investment. And also, did I... Like, did I mention your earning potential is cut in half because you can't work during the day because you're doing unpaid labor for this woman? It's just not a good setup. Hello, I'm looking for a logo and banner. All right, the total will be $12. What do you want them to look like? Something like yours, but more color on the side of the banner, and I want it to say blank for instant RTs. What colors do you want? Blue, purple, and pink. All right, how does this look? Watermarked because it has not been paid for yet. Looks good. All right, so the total is $12. My PayPal is blank. Just let me know when you send it, and I'll get you the HD pictures. I want to see the HD pic first. Why? Because I DK if I like it. Look, I'll give you a shout-out for it. I don't need a shout-out. I have many actives. Can you pay for it or not? I can't. Okay, why did you commission me? I thought you were doing it for free. You did ask prices. Could you let me use it? I can't. Why? You already made it. Because I thought you can pay for it. Let me use it and I'll pay you as soon as I get the money. You won't get it until you pay. We could go to the queue tonight. Hey, sorry, I'm just not really up for going out tonight. Maybe Friday night, uh, so I don't have to work the next day. So Friday. And would you at least take me to McDonald's again? Mmm. Today? Well, I was gonna go to sleep soon. Please, just quickly, then you can sleep. If I didn't have to drive you like 25 minutes just to get you, I would. But that's quite a ways to go just for McDonald's. I haven't eaten all day. Forget it. I don't want to see you anymore anyways. Um, okay. I know. You don't care. Fuck you, asshole. So I'm an asshole because I don't want to drive you places? Stop texting me.
Hey, so if you want to see me quite possibly have an emotional breakdown on Twitch live tonight, this is probably going to be one of your best opportunities to uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be streaming over on Twitch. I'll be playing RuneScape. I'll be talking to chat heavily as always. So come hang out and do that sort of thing. Uh, I'll leave links in the description and the comments down below. I will remember the comments this time. I'm going to hold myself to it. Skate on, rollerbladers. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you're drinking a solid, solid amount of water. It's going to enhance your life and prevent prevent further emotional breakdowns. I hope you guys are doing good. Peace out, Girl Scout.